AMD released the 3D models, some of the most powerful gaming CPUs now on the market, right after the announcement of the Ryzen 7000 series. While the performance of these CPUs is unquestionably strong, where are the G-Series AVUs? It seems that AMD will shortly be releasing Ryzen 6000G and 7000G. To give you a quick overview of what to look for, we will discuss what we know about these next generation and what we can expect APUs. Let's get going. News regarding the upcoming G-Series chip comes from renowned leaker 9550 Pro on Twitter, who noticed that there are actually three variants of a M5 chips, which were leaked in last year's Gigabyte hack. Here the Type 2 chips are the already released 7000X chips, whereas the Type 1 and Type 3 are possibly the 7000G and 6000G series APUs respectively. We have also got a brief look at the specs of these chips, and putting together additional leaks and rumors, here's how it might turn out to be. First and foremost, these upcoming G-Series APUs are said replace the Vega iGPU architecture with RDNA 2 and RDNA 3 models, which performance-wise, have the ability to outcompete even the GTX 1650 discrete GPU. Aside from that, they are rumored to be compatible with DDR5 memory modules as well. This is a huge upgrade, given how iGPUs heavily rely on RAM and its bandwidth. While all desktop CPUs containing the Zen 4 cores now come with iGPU, they're far weaker compared to the upcoming RDNA-powered APUs. Take the 700M models for example. On WCCF Tech 3D Mark Time Spy testing, it comes quite close to the RTX 2050 mobile chip, surpassing the GTX 1050 Ti and previous 680M iGPUs in the process, so we can expect quite the performance from the upcoming 7000G and 6000G APUs, at least for portable gaming. That's right gaming laptops as well as handhelds will go through massive performance bumps, as most of them will have these APUs underneath their hood imagine gaming on a handheld, with desktop 1650-like performance. So, when can we expect these next-gen APUs to arrive? Well, as of now, there are no official announcements or confirmed release dates yet. But according to the leaks surrounding them, you can expect them to arrive by quarter four of this year. As they are done showing off and releasing most of their high-end chips, it is time for the G-Series APUs to arrive. We will be back again with more updates and benchmarks on the 7000 G APUs as soon as they hit the shelves. That concludes our discussion on the new AMD Ryzen 7000 GAPUs. Thank you for your time. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below to let us know what you think. If you'd like to see more content like this in your feed, subscribe to our channel and click the bell button.